hey, 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 hey. What the heck? What the heck? What? We are going. No, no, shedding. Ah, What's happening? Up. No, no, sit down because of we are continuing. Turn on that generator and let's continue. Wow. Yes, yes. Sorry, guys. My name is C. Let's Kosana, and this is Close Up Education. But for you, you should obviously know by now that you should be calling me Usem Numzan. Why Usem Numzan? Because of I'll be bringing you topics such as time, how to convert time, and also how to calculate elapsed time. We firstly need to understand a metric system. What is a metric system? A metric system is a system or a diagram that will help you to understand how to convert time. Time has about three units. It has an hour, right? It has an hour, it has a minute, right and it also has seconds right and these are the units of time hour minutes and seconds okay how do you convert from hour to minute and from minute to seconds and versa verse from seconds to minute and from minute to hour how do we use it from the bigger value which is an hour to a smaller value which is a second you have to multiply and from a smaller value to a bigger value it is to divide right so the question will be which value are we using to convert time okay we know that in one hour there are 60 minutes meaning one minute has to equals to 60 seconds so we'll be using 60 to convert time so from hour to minute we know we multiply so we'll be multiplying by 60 then from minute to second we also know we multiply then we'll be multiplying by 60 and versa versa we know we have to divide meaning we divide by 60 then from minute to hour we definitely know that we have to divide we divide by 60 right you can also convert from hour straight to seconds how do you do it you just simply do it as easy as you can how you just say 60 times 60 that will equal to 3600 right so you'll be using 3600 to multiply or to divide in order if you are moving from hour to seconds or from seconds to hour all right now that we understand our metric system let's make our first example okay and for our first example or question we say convert four hours into minute the simple one four hours to minute all right what do we know from this we know that an hour is definitely much bigger than a minute meaning we have to be reminded by our metric system that when we are moving from a bigger to a smaller what do we do we multiply and how do we multiply we say 4 multiplied by 60 and equals to 40 minute the unit has to always change okay let's say convert this 240 minutes into seconds what minute into seconds right what do we know we know that from bigger to smaller we multiply from bigger to smaller we multiply how do we multiply we say 240 multiplied by 60 equals to 14,400 seconds. Okay, let's do it verse a verse, like converting 14,400 seconds into minutes. How do we do it? We obviously know that we are converting what? Seconds to minute. And we know seconds are smaller than minute. What do we do if we are converting something that is smaller to bigger? We obviously divide we divide right how do we divide it we just say 14,400 seconds divide by 60 equals to what 240 minute they don't forget the unit has to change all right let's continue let's say they are saying convert this 240 minutes into hours we know from minute two hours a minute is much smaller than an hour so what do we do we divide because we were told by our matrix system which we just learned before here all right it says 240 divide by 60 equals to four hours 
Let's say the question says, all right, don't convert from hour to minute. Just convert from hour to seconds. How do you do it? Easily say, four hours plus. And what value are we using to convert from hours to seconds? How do we find the value? We just say, okay, equals to 60 times 60. Why 60 times 60? Because of we use the 60 from an hour to a minute and another 60 from a minute to seconds, right? It continues and four hours multiplied by 60 times 60, 3,600 equals to what we know as 14,400 seconds right you can also do it versa versa if you are moving from seconds to hours all right now that we know the basic of converting you have to stay tuned like my video follow if you can follow if you can and for the follow-up question question number two it has to be a bit difficult it says convert 1500 days into years months weeks and even days how do you start you start by understanding how many years does 1,500 days have? All right, we say 1,500 days have to be divided with what? 365 days. Why 365 days? Because of a year consists of 365 days. Then it will be equal to 4.12 years. So now we know the years how many years but then we don't know the months the weeks and even the days so this will obviously represent the months weeks and even days all right we first start by understanding how many days does four years have so we'll say four multiplied by 365 how many days does four years have it has 1460 days right now we know how many days four years have meaning the difference between 1500 and 1460 days has to be the months the weeks and also the days how do you right. calculate the difference you minus it's obviously 1500 days which we were given minus the 1460 days which of a four year then will be 40 days right now we know that this 0 comma 1 2 years obviously equals to 40 days right now we have to understand how many months are there in 40 days we know that a month consists of 30 days so we'll be minusing minus 30 days here then equals to how many days left 10 days right then is this the end no because of a week consists of seven days meaning in this 10 days we'll have to minus seven days minus seven days and equals to our very nice three days so what do we have here we have so our answer is definitely four years right four years one month one week and three days and this is how we converted 1500 days into years months weeks and even days okay now that you have arrived at the question or calculations of elapsed time that means this video has been beneficiary so like and subscribe because of there are more beneficiary videos to come let's say seminums are started from 10:45 until 20 past one recording the video that he's recording right now from 10 45 to 20 past one right how do we calculate the elapsed time between this time we first take the big time which is one 20 past one 20 past one will be on top and it will be minusing the smaller time which is 10 45 to 11 right okay what do we do there we say 20 minus 45 okay but then because of 
45 can never be minus from 20. It means we have to borrow from this 13 hours. So what do we do? We borrow one hour, which is 60 minutes. So 60 minutes moves towards here and it will be 80 minutes. Then here, 12 hours, right? Then what do we do? 80 minus 45 equals to 35. And 12 minus 10 equals to 2 hours. Meaning, what do we have here? 2 hours, 35 minutes. Right? Okay. Let's say he actually started at 2.50.25. AM and ended at 3 4 12 right okay now what do we do we first start with the bigger time the bigger time is 3 0 4 0 12 right okay then what do we do we minus with the smaller one which is 2 50 and 25 but before we calculate, we start from our right, moving to our left. Okay, so we'd say 12 minus 25. That is obviously not possible. So we borrow a minute from here to here. So that means a minute is 60 seconds. So 60 plus 12 is 72, right? 60 plus 12 is 72. Then here we now have three minutes, right? Then we say 72 minus 25. That equals to our very nice 47 seconds, right? And we say 3 minutes minus 50 minutes. It's obviously impossible. 50 minutes can never be minus from a 3 minutes. Then what do we do? We have to borrow here. How many minutes are we borrowing? 60 minutes, which is an hour. So here it will be 2 hours now. And here it will obviously become 63 minutes now so 63 minutes minus 50 equals to 13 minutes 2 minus by 2 equals to 0 the meaning we have 13 minutes and 47 seconds what no shading I, i'm still okay Aish.